Hello, and welcome to the Power of 3 video of the Mellifind Optimal Scanner. My name is Olivia Wiper, and I am from the Blue One group, and I will be talking to you throughout the video. Blue One consists of myself, Albert Rockgandle, and Emily Hendry, and we will be teaching you about the impact of the Mellifind technology on today's health in the United States. So, let's begin. Melanoma is a skin cancer that develops in the cells that produce melanin, the pigment that gives skin its color. It is well known that exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun's rays or tanning beds increases the risk of developing melanoma. The ultraviolet rays cause damage to the DNA that is present in skin cells. The cells can become cancerous when the damage to the DNA affects how the cells divide. Melanoma mostly develop on areas of your skin that have had exposure to the sun. But there are also hidden melanomas that are found in areas without sun exposure, such as under a nail or in the eye. Melanoma accounts for 1% of all skin cancers, but is the leading cause of skin cancer deaths in the US. As of 2016, it was estimated that around 91,270 adults in the US would be diagnosed with melanoma per year. Of these people, around 9,320 people were expected to die of melanoma. Dermatologists test and diagnose melanomas by first looking at the spot on the skin underneath a dermoscope. If the dermatologists find a mole that looks like it could be a melanoma, they will perform a skin biopsy on the mole. There are many different types of biopsies, most of which include shaving or removing skin from the affected spot resulting in a scar. The removed skin is sent to a lab that will test the skin to see if the mole is cancerous. Dermatologists also encourage patient skin checks to look for unusual signs in moles. Patients can follow the ABCDE model. A is for asymmetric shapes. B is for irregular border. C is for changes in color. And D is for diameter and E is for evolving or changing over time. If any of these relate to the patient's mole, they will go to a derm dermatologist to receive a biopsy. The Melifind optical scanner allows dermatologists to analyze moles without the need of surgical biopsy. Biopsies are invasive and are sometimes performed more than necessary because a mole cannot be diagnosed as cancerous until it is sent to a lab. Biopsies also result in scars that can be aesthetically displeasing. The Melifind was originally developed by the Department of Defense and Missile Navigation and is now being used to scan moles for signs of cancerous cells. The moles are scanned with 10 electromagnetic wavelengths of light that can assess tissues up to 2.5 millimeters beneath the skin's surface. Images are created from the system and are sent to a database that contains 10,000 digital images of melanomas for comparison. The Melifind will give the results of Melifind positive, high degree of morphological disorganization, or Melifind negative for low degree or of morphological organization. Melifind is unique among instruments because it not only allows the user to imagine a potential melanoma, but also analyzes the results to provide the likelihood of the potential melanoma actually being cancerous. This helps physicians decide whether or not to biopsy suspicious moles and opens a wide variety of applications for melafind in medically under, underserved communities and telehealth. Imagine if a patient in a medically underserved area could have a suspicious mole scanned by a local nurse or clinic and have the results be seen by a specialist physician at a nearby hospital to make a decision on whether or not to biopsy. Dermatologists are hesitant, however, because many are concerned that physicians may be over-reliant on the technology and perform unnecessary biopsies since melafind has been found to sometimes generate a false positive. This runs the risk of increasing healthcare costs since many insurances don't cover melafind. Although the cost of a skin can range from $25 to $175, and biopsies can cost between $100 and $400. Despite the concerns raised by some physicians about the potential costs of Melifind, the system remains an effective means of controlling costs by improving the early diagnosis of melanomas. 
Melanomas are extremely treatable when detected early on with a 10-year survival rate between 86 and 97% for stage 1 melanomas. When a melanoma is allowed to progress to a stage 2, those percentages drop drastically to between 40 and 57%. Late detection can incur significant costs to society in terms of the loss of life and the cost of care. Amelafine can be used by a local healthcare provider, but the results can be sent to a specialist at a local healthcare center to analyze. Since the physician would not need to be present, care would be cheaper and more accessible to the patient. By providing low cost access to care for people in medically underserved regions, Melfind has the potential to drive down the cost of care for skin cancers by improving early detection and allowing health professionals to intervene before melanomas can progress into more dangerous stages. Melafind is part of a movement in the medical community toward improving accessibility to care through the use of technology. Melafind and other automated diagnostic tools have the potential to lower the cost of healthcare by not necessitating the presence of a physician to operate them. The lower cost of care will also help them make healthcare more accessible to medically underserved regions because those regions also tend to be poorer and people may opt to delay treatment due to the high costs associated with healthcare. Physicians can then focus on the diagnosis of a condition using the data collected by Melafind as well as the recommendation of the instrument. While the accuracy of the device still needs to be improved upon before it gains the trust of the medical community, it has the potential to change the dynamic between physician and patient as a physician is now given a second opinion to consider when using Melafine to make a diagnosis. Lastly, I want you to answer the following questions. First, how does the presentation of the Melafine optical scanner fit with what we studied in earlier classes about technology innovation? and explain the relevance of this. Second, what is the lesson that can be learned through how innovation of the Melafine scanner changed skincare today? Describe the possible future changes in healthcare due to this invention. This concludes Blue One's presentation. Thank you.